Welcome back to Outcast, a new beginning. So, we're assaulting a prison base on the southern eastern tip of uh, Adelpha. We're looking for a ventrilope, a tamer, Yunair. We've got a lead that he's down here somewhere. And basically, we need to get him back. And, uh, like, this is basically all in support of um, our little egg in Amir. There we go. Yeah, so it's all in support of that. So, um, you know, let's just do the best we can. Clearly be doing a bit of fighting today. Because, you know, sometimes you just got to start an episode off with a bit of violence. Mm. That, um, cool uh, effect that appears when I dodge is uh, a cool little effect that I got that will appear when I dodge. It's a uh, Something of a little upgrade that I got. Was it an episode back or so? And I, I'm not in a good... Strategically, I'm not in a good position here. I'm like in the middle of the kill zone. I see the armchair strategist in my audience going, Honestly, Fred, this is... A newbie mistake all around. Well, I know. But, you know... I like to create a bit of a... little sense of peril for you guys. Keeps you on your toes. Right, what have we got? These guys? Come on, buddy. Okie dokie. Uh, unlock the terminals. Okay. So there's terminals to unlock. That's fine. We've got a sense of what we ought to be doing. That looks like a terminal over there, so let's do some unlocking. Oh, hang on. Sniper. No more sniper. Alright, that's one of them down. Oh, and that's Yunir in there, so it looks like he's... Well, we know where he's being held. So that is all good. So, yeah, let's uh, see if we can get him. Let us see. Now, two more things to uh, unlock. The other one looks like it's inside a room over there. Whoa! Is there some guy up there? There is. And there's a guy up top there. Okay, I can't see him just at the moment. But we will get to him in a bit. Let's get to you. Whoa! Okay, big fella. Big fella. Let's get the big fella. Okay. How are we doing? Oh, more action. Ok, 
Okay, anything else? Nope, that looks about right. Alright, what's here? Helpful. And oh so harmful. Halidium saver. Reduces halidium consumption when firing. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm seeing some uh, pretty decent upgrades in here. Okay, this is the second terminal. Good stuff. Okay, where is the last one? Down there. Whoa! Big fella. That was not a big fella. Come on. Where is he? Come on, there's one more here. Right, where is he? Alright, I thought there was one more here. Okay. Alright, looks like that's it. That's fine. Um, where is... Wait, wasn't there another... a latch thing here or something? Another, another terminal? Oh wait, there it is. There it is. Okay, and now we destroy the generator. Neutralize SAP-01 core. Excellent. Okay, but I don't think we've necessarily freed um, Yunair. I think maybe this might be the terminal for that. Let's see. Yeah, that's looking a bit more like it. Let's see. This, this might be it now. Hey, buddy. Are you you, Nair? Maybe. Who wants to know? <laughs> Relax, buddy. I'm VC, just like you. I'm here to save you. Solip sent you. You betcha. Come on, get out of here and run to your village, now. Oh, this was a good first step. For sure. Ooh, go to the officer's quarters. Interesting. Uh, what is this here? There is m one module container left to open in this base. Okay. Well, where would it be? Could it be up there? I mean, yeah, let me go look for it. Because why not? Oh, 
Okay, there he is. What's behind this door? All right, this must be the officer's quarters. Let's see what we have here. First shot booster. Okay, cool. Very cool. Well, I think that's about all we can do here, really. I mean, I'm sure there's some other stuff. Oh, how do I get that chest? I'd have to be outside, wouldn't I? Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Yeah, anyhow, let's um, talk to Yunair about Emea's need for ventilopes. Well, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's head back to supper. And uh, lure ventilopes to supper. It looks like that's going to be the next mission. We we'll have to talk to Yunair about that. That's fine with us. Let's go. Could you let this happen? We need to resume extraction at once. Assuming we have enough drilling experts available, the repairs will still take weeks, General. What kind of sorcery is this? Leave. HQ's reporting giant creatures under our feet. They could surface any moment. Some very interesting visions. But how is... How, like, how are we able to see them, though? That's what I don't get. It looks like the General's starting to feel the pain I'm bringing to his game. Keep on pushing, Slade. <laughs> oh my god! It's Yunair! Where have you been? Uh, you got me worried, brother. I was on the lookout for feathers, Went. Is it okay to discuss VC business in front of Baram? It doesn't matter. We're just happy you're safe. The invaders caught me and threw me in one of their prison cells. No one hurt me, but someone hurt them. Who are you talking about? Well, they don't hurt. Exactly. <sighs> They're machines, you know. Thank you for helping, my friend. The Ventilope Club is in your debt. If there's anything we can do for you, let me know. Unless you can teach your Ventilopes to drop bombs on these goddamn bases, I'll take a rain check on your offer. Did you say bombs? I know a little bit about explosives. That could actually work. Are you serious? Ooh. I could arrange Ventilope writers to drop anything from the sky. It's not a problem if... Uh, you know, here, uh, how about you get some rest now? Uh, you must be exhausted by your little adventure. Um, yes, Salad, you're right. Now hold on a sec. With your explosive know-how and his taming skills, we can wreak some serious havoc from the sky. It's a stupid plan that would only end up with more ventilopes getting shot at. Zalib, why don't you let me talk to the stranger? I don't like this. Let's go, Zalib. I'll debrief you about my recon mission in private. Zalib is a big environmentalist was all about protecting the animals and the natural ecosystem and natural habitats and all that jazz. So obviously he wouldn't be on board with this. But Yunair wants to help.
What are you doing in my house? No one taught you how to knock? <laughs> yeah, sorry. There's no door, so, uh, uh... This is a nice vest you're making here. It's... It's a work in progress, and I don't want anyone to judge before it's finished. Yeah, I can see how it'll make you stand out, even from up there. We have motorcycle club vests where I'm from. They're made of leather, though. This one has more style with the, uh, feathers and all. I still need a few of them to complete the prototype. This one's for Zalib, and it's taking a lot more feathers than expected. <laughs> Zalib is a big Talan. I'm sure he'll love it. You wanted to see me for a reason? Uh, yes we did. Why, why is he over there now? How are you feeling? Much better after a big bowl of fried Senecta. The invaders almost starved me to reversion. Do you know what they wanted from you? No. They kept questioning me, but I couldn't understand their language. Good thing you showed up. A uh, ventilope? Have you started taming new ventilopes? I wish I could. Gamors killed my one female ventilope while I was locked up, and females are the key to everything. Without her attracting male ventilopes to the village, I have nothing to work with. Go get yourself a new female, then. Hmm. <laughs> Easier said than done. It took me many moons and a great deal of pain to tame just one. Female ventilopes are the most stubborn animals I know, and with all those nasty knackbees around, it's very dangerous to bring one into the pen. Can you share your methods with a fellow VC member? I'm curious. Anything for the VC, brother. Female ventilopes crave a certain type of larvae. Nackby larvae is found in the trees around Sapa. Once I spot a female, I start by smoking the Nackby larvae out of the tree to attract the female. While she's busy feeding on it, I proceed to the next tree and the next, creating a trail that lures her all the way to the enclosure. This method takes a lot of patience and time. We'll need something quicker. I'm not the most patient guy, so I think we need to adjust your technique. Then you'll be saving my life a second time. Without ventilopes, the Fisher Talans are out of work, and the Gamors turn their appetites to Talan. Um, what, uh, Nak, actually, let's ask about the Nak You mentioned Nak bees. Anything I should know about them? Nak bees are big flying insects living around Sapa. They're quite dangerous, and their stinger has reverted more than one Talan in this region. They're especially hostile when they feel their larvae is in danger. Big deadly insects. What's coming next to Delphi's Godzilla? And what about the watering? The village of Emiya needs your help. Me? Why? Could you tame some ventilopes and teach them how to water the treetops of Emiya using the nearby lakes? I could if we had enough ventilopes. But they keep getting shot flying about the invaders' facilities. Where can we find new ones? The trick is not to find them, but to let them find us. Oh, really? Hey, Ventilopes, we're here! See? It's not working, you not here. Mm, bombs? Tell us about the about bombs. About those bombs. You should talk to Baram about that. He knows more than I do. I'll teach the Ventilopes how to carry the bombs, but it'll be up to the riders to drop them. Uh, okay, so, yeah, tell us about Sapa. Do you like this place? It used to be pleasant. Now it seems we're just surviving until the next moon. Mm, and Sanegata? Can you tame a Senegta? No. I like having both of my hands, thank you. <laughs> Senegtas are vicious creatures, outside of my expertise. Just like Gamors. Okay, and the female Ventilope? How can I distinguish between a boy and a girl? Not a big fan of inspecting genitals. In this season, females usually stick to their nests. There are a few nests northeast from here. Mm, okay, well, we can come back to that. See ya. Let's see if we can lure a female ventilope. But how? A female ventilope uh, can be lured to Sapa, which could cause males... Find a female ventral and shoot the larvae holes to smoke the bugs out. This could be used to create a larvae trail all the way back to Sapa. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that, won't we? I think we will. Okay, but first... Let's have, have a look see around. Yeah, we're gonna have to lure these things back.
Okay. Out to lure out a female Venslope we go. Okay, that is, uh, looks like one of them. And looks like it's another one. Okay, so that looks like the female Ventilope. Hit the lava hole to lead the Ventilope back to the village. I gotcha, okay. Come on, female Ventilope, come on. Of course, and want us to watch out for these things as well. Okay, it's, uh, I think it's working. Oh, Here they come. Okay, things are going well. Let's keep it going. Come on. Alright, more of these munchkins. Okay, it's working. All right, I think we've done it, guys. I think we have actually caught a female ventralope. See what Yunai has to say. Our birdie is singing her love song in the enclosure. At least I think she is. I'm more of a metalhead myself. You have a head of metal, like the invaders. <laughs> no, I mean, forget it. Got the female ventilator for you. Bless the yachts. Thank you. I better get ready. Males are probably circling the village as we speak. 
The Ventilope will bring life back to Sapa. What does it take to tame one of those giant cuckoos? It's all in the moves. I'm so glad I took those dance lessons in Kizar as a young Talan. Um, Ventilo watering? The village of Emiya needs your help. Now they're growing a special plant called Quart high in the treetops and can use some Ventilopes to water them. They're willing to pay. I can teach the Ventilopes to carry water from the lakes around Emiya, then drop their load on the plants. But your Zorkins are useless in Zappa. Everyone trades goods here. So, what do you want for it? I once tamed this very clever Ventilope that used to be so good at collecting rare feathers for me. She would bring them to me from the regions around Sapa, going as far as Emiya, and even Bida sometimes. What happened to your flying friend? The invaders shot at her. She got scared, flew away. She's still collecting beautiful feathers, but she's not bringing them here anymore. She drops them in her new nest. It's the one at the top of the tallest tree I have ever seen. I call it the Feather Tree. I'll get your feathers and trade them for tamed ventilopes for Amiya. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. Everything peachy with a female? I don't know what you mean, but she is already producing ventilope oil. That was fast. Ventilope oil? What can you tell me about ventilope oil? The females produce it. During mating season, male ventilopes smell it on the females from far away and they come running, or flying, actually. Have a look inside ventilope nests or in the pen where the female is active. You'll find some there. <laughs> what are the is nests it easy like? To spot a ventilope nest. Yes, they're visible, and you'll certainly find some around Sapa. But if it's ventilope oil you're after, you can also check my pen when a female is inside. We're in the middle of mating season. You might be in luck. I don't know, buddy. I mean, is that really something we ought to be yeah. looking at? Like, while they're in the middle of mating season? Okay, but this is good. So, let's take a look at the next location. So that is all the way over here. Gather Makari feathers. Alright, that's that's okay, because that's basically right by Emiya. Where we are at the moment. Uh, what are the other... Oh, no, 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 hang on. What are the other missions here? So there's something else here that we need to uncover. But in the meantime... Yeah, this is going well. We've yet to uncover this thing here. Okay, well, we can talk to more of the Talans about this here. Would that be maybe about the bombs? But then who'd know about this kind of stuff? I mean, it might be worth asking around. Can I call you Bo The name's Baram. I kind of like Cut. Oh yeah, so let's ask you him about the bombs. You more Ventilopes and teach them how to be dive bombers, but I'm still missing the actual bombs. You said you had an idea about that. Back in the moons, before my paddle invention. I had this idea we could fish with explosives. Don't tell me. It wasn't a mind-blowing success. <laughs> it was a reverting disaster. But the same bombs could do a lot of damage when thrown at the enemy instead of fish. Where can we get some? Bomb-making ingredients are not easy to come by, but I got my samples from the miners in Desan. Desan? I'll go to Desan and ask around. Anybody I should reach out to once I'm there. I don't know if he's still alive, because I haven't seen him since the invaders took over Desan. But a Talan named Brahm was the one who sold me the explosives at the time. Brahm, I got it. He was an engineer like myself. Mining was his obsession, and fishing was mine. But we spoke the same language. He could be a slave now. It's terrible what the invaders have made of Desan. As soon as we can turn some of your Ventilope riders into bomber pilots, we'll get payback. I can't wait. Where can I find ventilope oil? Hmm, good question. I'm more of a fish oil expert. Did you know fish oil is perfect for protecting your skin against moon rays during the high season? But it doesn't smell great. It scares the females away during Olka stock. Not answering my question. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ventilope females secrete the oil during reproduction, but that's the extent of my knowledge. Yunair could tell you more about it. Yeah, in fact, he kind of has. Good talking to you, Bram. Same here. 
Okay, well, that's quite helpful. Explosive idea, yeah, so this is the idea. So, clearly, we're going to have to head over to Dasam to uh, get more information on that. Hmm, still not sure about this here. But with respect to the objective to attract more females, uh, let's talk to Zaleb quickly. Get some of that healing, and maybe he'll be a bit forthcoming with some more inf information. Hey, Zaleb. I heard. Well played, stranger. Staying true to my word, I hereby deem you an honorary prospect of the Ventilo Club. Prospect? Important topic number one. Now that the Ventilo Club is attracting more members, we need to establish a hierarchy. A hierarchy for three members? <laughs> Let's start, damn it. I got dibs on president. Unair is volunteered to be secretary. And you will be our prospect until you earn your place. Whatever floats your boats out. Uh, let's get some healing. Catch me up. Can you be more careful next time? Again, okay, bombs. How do you feel about the bomb? I just hope the Ventilops won't get hurt. Tanak better choose the best writers for the job. That's all for now. It's going to be a long moon. Okay, well, that is good, but now I think we head over here, and, uh, yeah, see if we can find these Makari feathers. So we'll fast travel to Emir. Okay, this looks like that really, really big tree. And this is right by an essence shrine. Well, we're not exactly looking for the essence shrine. But we are looking for everything else around it. Do we need to be going up there to those things? God, I think so. But how do we get up there? Okay, come on. Ow. Okay, come on, still one more out there. Is it one more? Okay, we need some Makari feathers. Let's go.
Okay, this is like, looks like another one. Makari Feather. And that looks like one over that way. Let's get them feathers. Okay. And this looks like it might be another one. Yeah, okay. And it looks like we can trade these with a uh, Unair. More sticky loot. Awesome. To um, have him send the Ventralopes to Amir. Okay. Right, so back to Sapa we go. All right, Yunair, guess what we got? Hey, Yunair. Hi, Prospect. Can I do anything for you? Ah, look at these colorful feathers. Is that what you were looking for? Beautiful. Some of these are rare. Nice find, thank you. They're worth a tamed ventilope for Amiya. Don't hesitate to bring more of these beauties if you need more ventilopes. Thanks, Yunair. Much appreciated. I'll tell them the ventilopes are coming then. See ya. Okay, this is big. This means we might have actually resolved the um, main quest for Amir. Yeah, I think we might actually have done it. Quest ma everything seems to be mastered. So, yeah, let's head back there. And I'm guessing we'll talk to Dark. Because he's the new village chief and all. Let's see. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the Twan House. We couldn't risk you free. It's okay. I'm sorry that I don't... Don't even think about it. Okay. Uh, Ventralope? The Ventralope should start watering the plants in no time. That should keep your Galanta hanging around the village. This is wonderful news. Thank you, Ulukai. Um, but now what? All right, watch your back, Doc. It is impossible to watch my back, Ulukai. It is my back. <laughs> oh, I, I love his inability. Their their inability to uh, understand Cutter's turns of phrase. Okay, would more have anything What's to say? More? No one. How's our new irrigation plan? It's work. The ventilopes are taking water from the lakes and dropping it on the plants. Some people below are still getting surprise showers, but it's considered good luck. <laughs> I saw his anger drenched. He needs it. He's one smelly tomorrow. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had such a good laugh. You know what? I don't think I've showered since 1999. <laughs> it's probably my memory playing tricks on me. Damn, that's a while. Catch you later, more. Much later, okay? That is a while, sir. Okay, so this is all done. That's all good. So now, will Dark give us the village Daroamon? Or is that something we need to talk to Nemet about? Nemet, you elected Dark as your new leader. That was a good call. Dark is a doer, and there are a lot of things still to be done. I am not only speaking about Amiya. I agree. How did Hatso take it? Hatso chose exile and left before we had an opportunity to talk. 
He won't forgive this affront easily, but his time as a chief was done. We are entering a new era. I will support Doc in his new role. Doc is way more mature than I thought. This is what being a parent does to you. Can you heal me? Brace yourself. The odds guide my hands. Um, well, it doesn't actually say anything about now. the Doriamon, does it? Yachts bless you. Hmm. Galentical. So I guess it's kind of still in progress, isn't it? growth progress yeah okay so I think maybe it's because the baby's still kind of growing so it looks like we just have to give it a bit more time yeah not uh, not too much of a problem so yeah we, we finished old lampes that is all good there shouldn't be anything else to be done here I mean quest master this is all well and good the same for Sapper. Well, we got this one here, the explosive one. And here. Hmm, I get the impression that there's more to this here. Than they are telling us. Okay, but in any case, we should be able to find out that this soon and then carry on with the main story. Also, we do need to head up here. To na neutralize this Sano, um, this is the base at some point, I do believe. But um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, that's all for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. <laughs>